yeah. under the sink kitchen grinder. There's plenty of different makes of it. Uh, this particular one, uh, it was second hand on eBay as well, 80 quid. Uh, it's got an auto reverse function if it gets blocked up. It's got a facility for a water feed in here as well, which you'll need when you're grinding, just to help flush products through it. Um, it's got a cut out as well, so that's quite a good, cheap way of um, finding out food waste and that sort of thing. And we've got some simple helpers. This is a, a salad bowl from the supermarket. The fittings all come with it, or you can go for a bit bigger. Um, and there's a quick release clamp that goes on the top of the grinder. So if it blocks up, it's quite easy to kind of just get your bits out, make sure it's unplugged first. They come with a little air switch as well to control it on and off, so they're quite easy to use, they're quite cheap. They did struggle with fibrous stubble. The rear bulb was a bit of a nightmare, it won't go, it just broke down. Unless you could have it first, or even, no, even chopped up. Doesn't like it, but it just balls up inside the grinder. Yeah. Yeah. So, do they have changed? You might have found a better help as well. Resolve that one. So, you've got room on it. I know, I have a single one as well. Any top and tail. This is where it comes out and that's it. Just make sure you've got so a good just steep want to make cone small. angle to help get the bottom <laughs> through the next step and you might want to use a little pokey stick just to help have get it through the lock your fingers. But, um, um, do they do all that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, actually, the garden waste and some weeds. That's no problem. They can't do that. They can't, no. We messed about with just the domestic garden shredders as well. Through this. No, it they're crap as well. It just pulls up. <laughs> yeah. So, another solution. I don't know where we soak the weeds for a long period of time, but um, just chuck them straight in if you've got the right digester. If you want to. I'll move on to the pump. Some of the shears back there. Yeah. It could be a nice thing. So there's, there's a, this particular one's got an inch and a half hose tail, and we transfer it from there into one of these. Um, it's got a nickname, they called mangoes, they're about five quid from second hand, they're really good, they're easy to carry around. They've got a good seal on their lid. Um, How do you transfer it from the bottom of that thing? Well, the one out there is it's a bit higher up. So you just gravity um, so have it slightly higher into the there. Just a bit of pipe. There's um, one of the kitchens where we get an hour's kiss from. We, we've heard they put in one of those units here. Yeah, uh -huh. Which is going to unfortunately flush it down more. Well, you could always can you divert it. Or? Divert it and turn off the water. Keep, keep, you need, they have to have some water. Okay. I mean, either you mix the water here as you're doing it, or you can use this extra. Yeah. Like a standard, these come, they're blanked off internally. So if you don't want to use this option, but if you want to, you just put another water feed on here. But you want to regulate it, you don't want to pull it. And you might want to consider grey water as well. Also, just yeah. tap it. So these mangoes, we were, in this particular case, we made a pretty crude water bath. Um, these are chip pan heaters, about 20 euros. Um, but you might want to use soap hot water if you've got access to it. Or you've got these immersion heaters. Um, and you can buy the flanders to, uh, to secure them on either square tanks or round tanks. They're quite easy to fit. Or you can store it in big pipe grips or whatever. You can put it in a proper control system. There's a lot of that. Just drop that in. Even like it's the same thing as you would. Cut it down, because it's not too hard to lift it in and out. Make sure it's well insulated so you don't lose too much of the 
Um, this is, this is just out. super simple because you can plug it right in and it's easy to insulate. You don't need to worry about the water. If you can finish that room and transferring it using these, um, just, just a simple um, pump. So, so the whole, same for 30 up to 70 to transfer to the digest. You can tune it and uh, wire it into your wireless device. Mm. Mm. The thing that keeps on coming back to me is all this stuff is this, 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 this retention. Uh, I mean, volume there, <coughs> 40 days. I mean, the same for it to do, do its uh, thing completely. Do so, actually, this, you're not actually handling very much stuff. You might want to do a, as it's a batch process, pasteurize every day, maybe two days, every three days. But, um, as long as you use a vessel that matches your, you know, your process. Yeah, but you're you pushing it out. I know you're saying every two or three days, you're pushing out the volume. Out the other end, aren't you? Which hasn't spent 40 days doing what it's supposed to be. So this depends on the size of your digestion. It's just balancing your waste input. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be 40 times your weight. Yeah. 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 The total volume is minimal. Your daily input is 40 days at the start of it. Well, if you're, well, talking, for, if you're talking 40 for that, then it needs to be the dark to macerate it the way you want. Yeah, it's going to be more than 40 days. Yeah. Well, yeah, it depends on your feet. Yeah. So, um, I, the simple rule is related back to dry mouth. Pig slurry at 5%, dry mouth all the time. Cow slurry at 10%, dry mouth, which is half the time of food waste, which has a 20% dry mouth. Maize is 30%. Um, as you what, the standard figure is the diameter kilograms of dry matter per cubic meter of digestive capacity per day, which typically is about three kilograms putting up to six from a household. No, no, I'm saying no. The loading rate of digestive. He said the rule of thumb is somewhere between three, maybe four, maybe five kilograms of dry per cubic meter of digestive volume every day. That's quite a bit. It is. So five kilograms is bad light, you might be better under this light here. I guess that is. We're going to pass this over and have a look at the blades and the things inside us. They're quite good, they're quite good for those who are going to use the